of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good day, my dear sisters and brothers. The Universal Church is celebrating the sixth Sunday of the holy season of Easter. We celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Also, universally, we are celebrating Mother's Day as we give praise and thanks to God for our mothers, for our women folk who are there supporting us in so many and various ways. We begin now by acknowledging our own sinfulness, as we say together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honour of the risen Lord and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Holy Spirit has been poured out on the pagans too. As Peter reached the house, Cornelius went out to meet him, knelt at his feet and prostrated himself. But Peter held him up. Stand up, he said. I am only a man after all. Then Peter addressed them. The truth I now come to realize, he said, is that God does not have favorites, but that anybody of any nationality who fears God and does what is right is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit came down on all the listeners. Jewish believers who had accompanied Peter were all astonished at the gift of the Holy Spirit, which should be poured out on the pagans too. Since they could hear them speaking strange languages and proclaiming the greatness of God. Peter himself then said, Could anyone refuse the water of baptism to these people, now that they have received the Holy Spirit just as much as we have? He then gave orders to them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Afterwards, they begged him to stay on for some days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, bring out your joy. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another, since love comes from God, and everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God, because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only Son, so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us, when he sent his Son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Just as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my own joy may be in you, and your joy be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another just as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I shall not call you servants anymore because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you. And I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit. Fruit that will last, and then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, as we reflect upon sacred scripture, and as we listen to the Gospel of St. John, Jesus, in his farewell speech, is saying to his disciples, Just as the Father 
loves me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. Just as I have remained in my Father's love. If you remain in my love, you will have joy and joy to its full. My commandment is, love one another as I have loved you. Suddenly, the lights of the cinema went on and people started to leave with watery eyes because to witness a very loving, romantic, supportive movie. And then on the way home, whenever the husband said to the wife, she was upset. So on reaching home, the argument continued. And she hit him on the head with a frying pan. And we can say, yes, and then all of a sudden there was a, a ferocious argument. Now, they've come from a love story for some strange reason. And then we are saying to ourselves, but there's nothing unusual. Isn't that what uh, dysfunctionality is all about? Uh, we read about it every day in the newspapers. Um, we read about uh, addiction. In the early days, addiction was confined to one area only, and that was the man of the house drinking. So he was a drunkard. Nowadays, he has an addiction. But so can the wife have an addiction. She can be addicted to drugs. Or, or the son can have an addiction to pornography. So addiction is very much part of the issues and the problems. Not to mention violence. Not to mention anger. Not to mention abuse domestic abuse, abuse within the wider circle of family, and yet we're listening to a love story. Just as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Something has gone wrong, my dear sisters and brothers. And as we celebrate Oh yes, the resurrection, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus Christ is risen. He has freed us from the slavery of our sins. But we are still immune to sinfulness. We forget that part of the story. We are set free, but for some strange reason, we want to be angry, we want to be violent, we want to be abusive. And the list continues. So where is the romance? Where is that love story we all saw in the movies? You know, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. And we're all very moved by the whole scenario. And yet at the same time, my dear sisters and brothers, we ask ourselves the question, now, how much in control are we, or do we have, when it comes to the planet, apart from our humanity? Now, recently, we are following the news from uh, Myanmar, formerly Burma, in total and absolute chaos. The army took over the administration, and the people have been downtrodden yet again. So where is the love of God? Or oh, you may say, oh, it's a, a country that is, is uh, extremely wealthy and in spirituality. It's a country where there are numerous relics of Buddhism, all looking for the interior life, looking for the superior being. Have we found the superior being? Have we found inner peace, my dear sisters and brothers? And there's turmoil and confusion. And that we won't mention France and England as only a skirmish, but it reflects the fact that whatever, whatever the issues are, is it that we can't sit down in a clear, 
rational manner to see what are our issues, what are our differences, how can we address them, how can we solve them. And Jesus said to his disciples, just as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. So is there any redeeming factor in this whole human scenario, in this whole world we live in? God created a paradise for us. And look what we have done. A paradise, my dear sisters and brothers. Now, whether we talk about corruption or pollution or contamination, something has gone wrong somewhere. So what are the redeeming elements? What are the redeeming factors? Well, today, Sunday, we celebrate Mother's Day. And we thank God for our mothers. That's the beginning of life. God spoke to us, to the prophet Isaiah, when he said, even if your mother forgets you, I will not. Even the babe at the breast or the child in the womb, I will never forget you. We are not forgotten. But for some strange reason, my dear sisters and brothers, we appear not to want to, or we appear not to get it right. Yes, it's Mother's Day. We thank God for our mothers. Uh, they nurtured us. Uh, and many of us really and truly can reflect on our early days and appreciate our parents our mothers and our fathers. In those days of the 1950s and 1960s, but something has gone wrong. Mother Teresa, well known, uh, a saint of the church, internationally famous for the fact that as a, a young woman from uh, Romania, and how she went to get part of our educational or religious formation in Dublin, Ireland, by the sisters of Loretto, chose to go to what was considered then to be one of the poorest places in the world, Calcutta, just to be able to witness to the humanity and to be able to serve humanity at no cost. So there are good people, there are great people, there are loving people, there are sincere people, and those are the people we celebrate as well, as in this we celebrate Mother's Day. We give thanks, my dear sisters and brothers, to anyone who has entered our lives to offer us support and love and, uh, and in whatever other way in which they're there for us in a world that is broken. Oh yes, now we are inflicted with COVID-19. Who is to blame? Well, the obvious person we blame for everything that goes sour on us is God. And yet Jesus is saying, just as the Father loves me, so I love you. Remain in my love. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he came, and for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. He proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now, my dear sisters and brothers, we offer up our petitions, whatever they Heavenly may be. Father, bless Pope Francis, Archbishop Jason Gordon, and the clergy, by stirring up your spirit in them, so as to build up the body of Christ, and bring forth God's reign throughout the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Merciful Jesus, help us as a church to grow in awareness of Christ in us and see the hand of God in the people, events, and in his creation which surrounds us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Risen Christ, look with favor upon our nation, citizens, and elected leaders. Give us the courage to set aside our conflicts and differences, and call upon the name of the Lord of life, justice, and peace, so we too can see the salvation of our God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Blessed Saviour, we lift up before you our parishioners of St. Francis and the wider community and ask that you give us the courage to keep on showing our love for you by keeping your commandments as we anxiously await the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Good Shepherd, May your love inspire new leaders and vocations to the priesthood, religious and the lay ministries. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Also in our celebration, my dear sisters and brothers, we remember all those good people who have submitted their personal intentions. Some are praying in thanksgiving to God, for married life, celebrating our wedding anniversaries. We thank God also for all the other personal blessings and graces we have received. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Also, we celebrate Mother's Day and we remember all the mothers and all the, the aunts and the grand aunts and the grandmothers who played a magnificent and a tremendous contribution towards our formation. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who are celebrating their birthdays about this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have asked for healing, that the Lord will raise his healing hand over them. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for our face of the parted, as we pray for those who have gone before us, marked with a sign of faith. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We make these prayers 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mist with this water and wine, may we come to share the humanity of Christ to help and serve to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. me from my sins. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Our good and the good of all of his May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, against with the, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times we claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, our hosts, the land of your glory, who is that in you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood 
of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our sisters and our brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope on the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, the sent your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Jesus, your desire is to be united with us, your beloved. For you have said to us that there are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return and take you with me, so that where I am, you may be also. Most loving Jesus, we, we miss being in your presence. We miss being united with you in the Holy Eucharist. We miss being consumed by you in the Holy Eucharist. But Lord, since we cannot now at this time, because of the pandemic, be with you, be one with you. We now, Lord, make this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And so, as we celebrate Mother's Day today, Mary, our mother, may we feel your embrace as you hold us close under your mantle of protection in the same way that we hold our own children in our arms and in our hearts. Should we as mothers feel discouraged at times, as though we are not enough to our children, that maybe we do not have enough to provide for them in the way that we would like to? Dear Mother, help us to know that by virtue of the fact that as a woman we share in God's gift of creation, we are indeed special. Give us the faith to know that you intercede before our Lord for us and that like Jesus, you love us unconditionally in spite of our frailties and our imperfections. To the great grandmothers, the grandmothers, the single mothers, the aunties who serve as mothers, the teachers, the guardians of our children, the mothers who lost children. To all mothers in our world and in our beloved country of Trinidad and Tobago, I salute you. I salute you this day and encourage you to know that you are blessed that you are loved and that you are indeed enough.
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks. And do you have a happy Mother's Day? Thank you.